कर्नाटका चीफ मिनिस्टर सिद्धरामैया हैज डस्टेड अ पेट प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ द शेल्फ अ प्रपोजल एंड अ बिल टू रिजर्व बिटवीन 50 एंड 100 परसेंट इन प्राइवेट सेक्टर जॉब्स फॉर कनाडा स्पीकर्स इन कर्नाटका इट्स समथिंग दैट द कांग्रेस हैज प्रपोज मेनी टाइम्स बिफोर इंक्लूडिंग बाय सिद्धरामैया हिमसेल्फ बट नाउ ही इज ब्रॉट इट इन टू द हेडलाइंस द ओनली प्रॉब्लम इज does he really plan to push this through can it be pushed through or is this timed to take attention away from the cloud of scams that have assembled around the siddhu sarkara whether it is the valmiki board scam the muda scam which allegedly has uh, family members of the chief minister uh, who you know who are under scrutiny as well all of these beg the question is this really about kanada pride is this really about sidramaya putting to the fore something that he's always wanted to do or is this a tactical strategic move by the sidramaya government in karnataka in order to take attention away from this cloud of scams that have gathered around him facing heat over multiple scams the karnataka government led by chief minister siddaramaiah seems to have played the kannadiga card planning to bring in a bill to set aside a lion's share of government in private jobs for kannadigas alone the bill mandates a 50% reservation in management jobs and a mammoth 75% in non management jobs only for local kannadiga candidates Initially Chief Minister Siddaramaiah announcing a sweeping 100% reservation for Kannadigas in all blue collar jobs. But he quickly retracted the move after Labour Minister Santosh Lad clarified that no specific quotas exist for these job categories. And most of the politicians, wherever we go, we have been always pressurized that we need jobs, we need jobs, we need jobs. I don't say that they are not giving. So, if there is a mandatory something like this, so it becomes, uh, you know, foremost and important to see to that local it gets an opportunity. And in case if the local talent is not available, they can opt to get for anybody else. So why they are so hesitant to uh, seeing that by this draconian law will kill the industry? I don't. Know. I think this hard. but the move is facing flack not only from the opponents but from congress allies and congress netas too the reservation is required for local people no doubt about that wherever possible they should give the uh, reservation technically we can't uh, enforce on the any uh, organization to take them if it is they are not technically qualified for that every next day they come out with this kind of drama dramatic bills just to want to cover up their all the scandal the whatever scandals whatever the loot whatever the allegations they have been facing they just want to cover up with all these kind of dramas it's highly retrograde reactionary and regressive see one state or one city is not made by those people who are born there or in domicile prominent industrialist and software body like nascom also raised concerns stressing the need for skill talent in tech hub and the possible impact on brand bengaluru the bill says a local is defined as a person who is born in karnataka who has spent 15 years here and who knows kannada and he has to pass a test and if you don't have Uh, Kannada as a language in a school leaving certificate <coughs> then you have to take a test by a model agency yeah. even bengalurians are divided while some call it a discriminatory regressive and unconstitutional others back the move it is not good uh, for other states so it is better to decrease the percentage of the kannada working more than kannada here uh, outside peoples are working here more than karnataka peoples i think people should uh, give some importance for the localites and of course for a technical jobs it is the whatever they score whatever they get is important meanwhile deputy chief minister dk shivakumar defended the bill as a fair and necessary step uh, no. 
ನಮ್ಮ ಕಡತಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಕನ್ನಡ ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸುವಂತದ್ದು ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಹಾಗೆ ನಮ್ಮ ರಾಜ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲಿ ಉದ್ಯೋಗಗಳನ್ನ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಮುಂದಕ್ಕೆ ಅವೆಲ್ಲ ಕೂಡ ಕಡ್ಡಾಯವಾಗಿ ಇಷ್ಟು ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಕನ್ನಡಿಗರು ಇರಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋದು ನಮ್ಮ ಆ ದೃಷ್ಟಿಯಿಂದ ಇವತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮ ಕನ್ನಡಿಗರಿಗೆ ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ ಇಷ್ಟು ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ತಗೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಮನೆ ತೀರ್ಮಾನವನ್ನ ಸರ್ಕಾರ to benefit from the reservation locals must be proficient in kannada and needs to be born in the state or a resident for at least 15 years a similar local quota push in haryana and andhra however failed to pass legal scrutiny will the siddha government law face similar fate with nagarjun dwarkanath in bengaluru bureau report india today